Here I'm going to explain what you should do if a student's iPad freezes during an assessment inside of the lockdown browser. So first of all, what the student should do is perform a reset of the device by holding down the home button, which is the circular button, and the power button. And the device should completely shut down. They should see the black background with the white Apple logo um, if they're doing it correctly. When their device reboots, they can just go back into the assessment as they did in the beginning. And I have found typically it will open for them and they can just continue where they left off. If that happens, you will get a notification in your lockdown dashboard. Okay, so I'm on the dashboard just by clicking on the left side, lockdown browser. Uh, you'll get a notification when this happens. However, once you click the assessment that has the notification, which is a little orange icon right below the arrow, that notification icon will disappear. So it's a one-time thing that once you've seen it, you've acknowledged it, they won't uh, continue to flag that assessment. When you go in and you click review early exits, if the student had to reboot his iPad, you'll see the name of the student, the time at which the device was reset, and also a stated reason, which if the student reboots their iPad, the reason is going to be automatically generated by the app. It's going to say student restarted iPad or, or something to that effect. Here's the pointer though, and this is the reason why I'm making the video. If you're finding that too many of your students are, are getting frozen iPads during the assessments, I suggest that you consider leaving this first box under advanced settings unchecked. I say that because if you leave this unchecked and you tell the students that they're not to leave lockdown until they've submitted the assessment, if any student should leave the assessment, you're going to get a notification. Um, again, if that's leaving the assessment before submitting. So the notification would come up under review early exits, just like I described uh, the scenario of the student with the frozen iPad who has to do a reboot. So again, if it's disruptive for you and you're finding that you're having you know, too many students run into the frozen problem, which I have maybe a couple on any given day. Um, so I'm not at the point yet where I've unchecked this, but I just realized that students will be required to state the reason that they're leaving uh, the assessment. And then you'll see that in your menu here. So you might want to go that route. It's entirely up to you.